Hi, I'm Jo Avalon from Avalon by Nature. We're located on Awabakal country, which is the original name for Lake Macquarie here in the east coast of New South Wales. Uh, Awabo is the name of the actual lake itself, and it means still waters, I believe. Um, so welcome, and uh, the purpose of today's video is to talk about uh, counterfeit de decks, uh, counterfeit tarot and oracle decks, and how to spot the difference between a genuine genuinely created and printed deck and one that's been knocked off. <laughs> so um, it's July 2020 and for probably all, at least a year I've been seeing uh, posts um, on various Facebook groups that I belong to about the problem, the increasing problem of counterfeit decks. Um, and lots of people have talked about um, inadvertently buying one, um, the ethics uh, what it means for the creators, what it means for the printers, the publishers, and of course the um, sellers of decks, as well as the people who buy them and uh, don't have the full product that they think they're paying for. So um, I thought I'd just sort of bring all of that information together into a visual for you to have a look at um, so that you can be a buyer beware and, um, you know, not contribute to that to that growing problem um, inadvertently. So um, I guess um, the first thing to say is that I, I'll run through the, the main issues around um, the counterfeit decks and then I can show you some sort of examples in a way, in a manner. <laughs> um, so the first thing about a counterfeit deck is that um, you, you won't receive a booklet. The counterfeit decks don't have any little booklet in the deck, in the box at all. Um, often what happens is that there's a, a QR code, so that's those square kind of barcodes where you, you scan with your phone and um, it's supposed to take you to a link where you can download a PDF of the book. Now no creator, no self-respecting and amazing tarot or oracle creator will want to give you a book of the you know, a, a, a printout of their work uh, such that you can download it yourself and print it out yourself. They're always going to be given a little book at the minimum, yeah? So um, that's probably the first one and it's often the way that creators have um, been made aware that there is now a counterfeit copy of their deck on the market. Um, Chiro Machete, uh, Machete uh, last year was writing in the Tarot Professionals group um, about how he'd been approached by uh, some people who said that they'd received a deck as a gift and uh, but it didn't have a book in it and would he mind sending them the book and that's how he came about finding out that um, there were his decks uh, you know the beautiful Guild of Tarot and the beautiful Guild of Reverie Lenormand um, deck which are amazing artworks and in the genuine decks they're they're brightly coloured and they pop you know, that, that's why people love them. The artwork is just um, exquisite. Uh, and with that artwork comes the deck, the book, you know, the book that has the description of the cards and, you know, about the author and the creator and, and all the information you require when you purchase a deck of either Oracle or uh, uh, Le Normand or um, Tarot cards. Um, so that's the first thing is that you don't get a little book in it. The second thing is that um, for a lot of creators, um, I guess what we're noticing is that the, the sort of decks that are being counterfeited are the ones that have amazing artwork and have become, you know, really popular for, in particular, the artwork. So, for example, earlier this year, um, I came across um, a counterfeit of the Wild Unknown Tarot. So, if you weren't able to buy a, a like an independently um, the indie deck, we call it indie, but it's the independently published deck. So that's published by Kim Kranz, the author and creator. Um, she then was able to be um, mass published. So that's this um, edition now. And so in a big pack like this, you receive a seriously sized book plus the cards. And the cards are not small cards. You know, they're in my hand, you know, they're a good size card and they're um, you know, good stock, they're nice and thick, relatively thick. 
they shuffle really nicely they're nice in your hands and you know when I saw this counter, a counterfeit deck this is the original this is the, the proper properly published um, who does this one Harper Collins have published these so that's legitimate um, when I saw it it was the size and it's not this one but it was the size of this basically you just got the deck there was no book there was a little QR code on the side and the other way you can tell too is that there's no barcode now barcodes for tarot and oracle cards start with nine seven eight so I've been putting them all on my website and every single one of them starts with a nine seven eight so if you've got a, a deck of something that doesn't have a barcode or has a barcode but has something other than you know the 16 numbers I think that start with a genuine deck has a barcode that starts with 978 and goes on with numbers so if you don't have a deck that has a genuine barcode or has one of those square QR codes on the side uh, then you know that you haven't got a genuine deck um, <clears throat> what you'll also find is that there's no publishing details so you can see on uh, this deck Lord of the Rings deck <laughs> one of my collector ones <laughs> um, so this is published by US Games Systems so somewhere on the box turn it around until you find publishing details um, right away who are they published by they're also published by US Games Systems okay so originals you know um, the wild unknown so they'll be publishing it's published by the wild unknown company as well um, spirit song tarot uh, spirit song tarot is published also by us games uh, who else? that's all i've got here today um, <clears throat> so hay house you know the little hay house logo it's got little h's or two h's and it's got hay house Schiffer Publishing, I think they've got a feather. Um, every deck that's genuine has the publishing details of the, the company that's published them. They'll have a, um, a year that it's published on the whole. Um, <clears throat> proper barcode starting with 978. Um, now, what we also find, and this is, um, I've printed these um, pictures out from Chris Ann's um, uh, Instagram post that she posted I think last week. Chris Ann is the creator of the Light Seers Tarot, the Muse Tarot and the forthcoming Sacred Creators Oracle. Um, so I printed these out. I sent her a message to let her know I was going to do this because I just found that they were really, um, it really highlighted the issue. So this deck here is her deck. It's the original self-published proper deck and for a size comparison it's roughly that size I, I haven't actually seen one in the flesh so but I know I think it's roughly that size okay so you can see that's her original one this is the counterfeit and you can see side by side that is that's actually quite smaller now people buy them because they like a smaller deck in the hand so I can see how it's taken off and how um, <clears throat> it's something that um, is is somewhat attractive um, when you know artists create cards they are not tending to go for the small cards because they want their artwork to be seen you know they create the artwork it goes you know often goes to the edges or there might be a little border um, and it's it's unlikely that they're going to choose you know a small small size deck but lots of people prefer small size decks because you know we, all, we don't all have big hands probably including the creators don't have big hands either but um, you know it's just something to bear in mind so they're a smaller deck often you know for example this particular deck has <coughs> excuse me <laughs> once I start talking my throat starts playing up okay so this particular deck the wild unknown the original has you know a a box that you put the lid back on right so the knockoff and these including the ones that I've seen as well they have just a plain boring flip top okay this is this I'm not sure if this is a knockoff um, I got this from a major chain store um, it has a barcode but it doesn't have a correct barcode 
it doesn't actually have a book at all it only has like a little leaflet um, and it has no publishing details so my strong feeling is that I have inadvertently bought well it wasn't inadvertently I did buy it on purpose because I thought oh, I wonder what this deck is about and uh, it's actually a ride of weight but not with all of the proper artwork on the outside so it's really easy to get confused right so excuse me so <clears throat> the original has um, uh, is, is larger it's usually larger in the hand the knockoffs are usually smaller they have a flip top um, because that is the cheapest packaging on the market now in uh, Chris Ann's second um, two piece often smaller okay you can see in this picture here this is the bar uh, sorry this is the barcode and that is the little QR code now if you've got one of those on a box that you've bought it's not the original now the other thing too is that um, the card stock is often uh, flimsier it's thinner because it's cheaper um, and when you're buying a genuine deck they're often you know the creators often um, choose the best card stock that they can uh, legitimately afford and they're often just that little bit thicker or at least the US games um, cards are a good um, good indication so then they've got a little bit of a bend but they're not kind of flimsy you know like a, a thinner piece of card right and that's something that you don't really get to know about until you've actually touched and played with a few different decks um, but if you keep that in mind um, as something to look out for especially if you already have a few decks um, and uh, you know they're genuine decks and then um, if you do come across one that's not genuine you have a chance to, to feel the cards then that is something else to look out for um, now I suppose the most disappointing thing about the counterfeiting is that um, <clears throat> the artwork itself is of nowhere near the um, beautiful quality of the originals and the genuine decks and that um, is something that you know Chris Ann has highlighted in this particular um, picture so it's a bit difficult to see because it is a printout but this is her original deck and it is um, the backs of the deck so it's you know got a nice solid black color it has a design under there I think that's the band that goes around the deck and in this one back to front <laughs> sorry in this one this is the knockoff so you can see it's smaller and also she's making a comment gah the color you know the color is washed out it's not sharp like the original it's because it's been scanned so when you scan something it's not going to have the same print quality as something that you are printing from an original digital file um, okay, so no booklet, no publishing details, no barcode or ISBN, smaller deck than the original, just out of focus printing on the box. Um, a great indicator is that it is much cheaper than the original or genuine deck. So if something's $9, maybe that's US, maybe if something is under $20 and normally it's, you know, $30, $35 or in the case of some of the um, independently published decks 60 70 80 if they're significantly less then you know it, it's going to be a price that's too good to be true um, unfortunately um, they are being found on uh, discount store online stores such as wish and amazon um, and i guess because um, you know it's much harder to have a relationship with the sellers on on platforms like that you don't have a face-to-face -face relationship or a, you know an email to email you know there's there's that kind of mass mass selling mass opportunity to to offload uh, products um, you know those those platforms are designed for that so uh, it allows this sort of uh, less uh, products with without integrity to be flooding the market and that is actually how they're coming out so um, I, I did uh, I did get asked uh, the other day to explain why uh, and why there are counterfeits and, and what are the benefits for that and what are the you know I guess the the bad things about them so uh, 
you know, it's not something I would do. So it's it, it's hard for me to kind of understand why someone would um, rip off somebody else's artwork. But I guess the bottom line is that um, there's always going to be somebody who, uh, there's always going to be a portion of the community or the, the world <laughs> that, have, that uh, work without integrity. So I see a product that everybody really loves. They go, great, let's print that and sell it. And we can make money out of that too. So it's about greed. Uh, it, it's just plain greed. The the bad thing about it is that the bad things about it is that uh, the person who's created the deck would receive royalties, that is payment for their work, through the traditional publishing houses that they've gone through, or they receive directly the sales from the people that they're selling to if they've self-published. The publishers are also having their copyright infringed as well because uh, if the publishing house is not printing them, they're not getting payment either. Um, it undermines the um, integrity of sellers, of any type of sellers, um, because you know if someone comes to me and says, oh, I want the one Wild Unknown, but I'm not paying $70 for that, I can get it for $30. So, you know, potentially, even if I point out all of the issues with buying a deck that is counterfeit, if someone goes ahead and chooses to buy the $30 deck, I've got a $70 deck, genuine artwork, genuine um, printing sitting on my shelf, unable to be sold because um, it's, it's, there's a preference for something that's much cheaper. And I get that. I get that. But... That is the downside. That is one of the downsides. So it, un it, it, it basically steals from the artist, creator, authors, steals from the publisher and printers, the genuine publisher and printer, and it undermines the businesses of independent sellers who have, um, you know, a genuine, um, independent sellers like Avalon by Nature and all of the shops that we go to in the, in the street, um, the online booksellers that uh, do work with integrity and um, oh gosh one could go on forever about that I don't really need to I'm sure it's fairly obvious um, so it basically un under it it undercuts the whole industry um, and what it also does is that it discourages artists why would you publish your work if somebody's going to rip it off and get get those sales instead of you and unfortunately, there are some artists who are saying, well, I'm, I'm not creating any more decks. If my decks are going to be ripped off and sold to an unsuspecting market, why would I bother? So, I don't think there is a good note to finish on there. <laughs> oh, well, there is, there is. The, 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 you've, you've got some tips. You've got some tips, um, and that is that uh, if there's no booklet, if there's a little QR code on the side, little square um, barcode on the side to download a booklet, it's a no-no. If the price is too good to be true, it's a no-no. If the box is, uh, if the printing on the box is a little kind of just off-center or just fuzzy or just not the quality that you would expect given the hype about the, the, the you know, the deck, um, it's going to be a no-no. Um, if there's no publisher details, you can't find out who printed it, who published it, where, when, it's a no-no. Um, and if the box looks a bit flimsy um, or you get to open it up and feel the cards and they don't feel like good quality that you would expect from Hay House, US Games, Shiver Publishing, um, independent publishers who are genuine independent publishers if you don't think or feel that it's as good quality as it should be it's going to be a no-no so um thank you for staying with me and um i hope you you know enjoy and continue to purchase genuine decks who have been created by um beautiful souls uh wanting to spread light and and peace and understanding and insight 
um, into the world and those products then help you working through the things that you want to work through in your world. Um, I'm going to show you my Lord of the Rings one just the last time. <laughs> and uh, enjoy, you know, don't stop buying your product, uh, the things that you want to buy. Just be a buyer beware and be mindful and a conscious, a conscious purchaser so that you are conti continuing to contribute to the genuine and um, amazing creative community that we have um, in the... Oh, sorry, I didn't realise I hadn't turned that off. Um, in the Tarot and Oracle community. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank you so much and uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Okay, see you.